Well, I wanted to do a video shortly after uh, Harold Camping's prophecies failed, uh, his false prophecy, uh, which was not a prophecy coming from the Lord. It was just his own warped mind coming up with the thing. And I do believe that Harold Camping is a minister of Satan that the news media is using to attack real Bible-believing Christians. But I wanted to do a video exposing what he's now saying uh, a couple days ago, but I'm just real busy right now and just didn't get around to it. So this is kind of older news. Um, but I want to show you a few things that are going on here with the news media, what they're saying. So let me show you. All right, here we have the May 22nd, 2011, the day after Harold Camping's failed prophecy. And front page makes it in the end, not the end. Radio preacher misses on his Judgment Day prediction. And you go in here to A8. I'm going to try and find it here. The end wasn't this near. Okay, and it says here about that they spent months warning the world of the apocalypse, some giving away earthly belongings or draining their savings accounts. Found that to be kind of interesting. And of course here you can see the pictures, you know, they're all celebrating, thinking it's going to happen, and they were lied to. According to Camping, the destruction was likely to have begun its worldwide march as it became 6 p.m. in the various time zones. Now, anybody that reads Bible prophecy knows right there you got a big problem. Okay, the Lord isn't going to wait until 6 o'clock, you know, and it's the rapture, the real true rapture, is in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. It happens all around the world at the same time. This is nonsense. Okay, I mean, if, if it happens 6 o'clock and you got another hour, you're an hour behind where it first happened, you got an hour to get saved. You see... Nonsense. Okay, um, again, you have here he had spent his money to put up advertisements or advertising about the end of the world. You know, another poor person was conned. Many followers said the delay was a further test from God to persevere in their faith. Again, what a bunch of nonsense. They were lied to and they're too proud to admit to being deceived by a false prophet. Uh, the internet was alive with discussion, humorous or not, about the end of the world and its apparent failure to occur, occur on cue. Boy, I'm having a hard time talking here today. Again, it's not the end of the world. The pre-tribulation rapture belief system does not teach that the rapture is the end of the world. Okay, there's the millennial kingdom. There's the, well, first of all, you have the time of Jacob's trouble, which is at least seven years. Uh, some say ten. I don't know, there's some good arguments for that, but uh, it's at least seven years, I'll say that, but then another thousand years after that, before the end of the world. So, again, they lie and deceive people. Camping's radio station, TV channels, satellite broadcasts, and website are controlled from a modest building sandwiched between an auto shop and a palm reader's business. <laughs> uh, so, actually, you have the palm reader there. She's uh, fortune-telling the future. And so is camping. It's both a form of divination because he's not getting his prophecies from the Lord. As the day drew nearer, followers reported that donat donations grew. Oh boy. And he's not quitting either. He's going to go right through to October 21st getting more donations. Look at this though. In 2009, the non-profit non there, you know, good old 501c3, reported in IRS, in IRS fi filings that it received 18.3 million in donations and had assets of more than 104 million dollars and look at this including 34 million in stocks or other publicly traded securities <laughs> isn't that beautiful and then here he says about a rolling judgment there's no rolling judgment where's this at in the book of revelation it's not in there it's rolling judgment stuff and it says here they said uh you may know the day, but you don't know the hour, she said Saturday. This woman here, one of the deceived people. The day is not over. It's just the morning, and we have to endure until the end. Oh, brother. I mean, give me a break. You talk about just a bunch of nutty nonsense. That's the kind of stuff 
that this secular news media just eats up. They just love it because it gives them an opportunity to make fun of Christians. There you have another editorial, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, mocking Christianity in the Bible. May 21 arise and we seem to still be here. And I'm not going to even bother going through some of these articles. I just kept them for my files, but it just, you know, attacking the Bible, attacking Christians. And here we have a uh, Associated Press article. Radio host says rapture actually coming in October. So Camping said that his predictions were a little bit off and that it was actually a invisible judgment on May 21st and that it's actually going to happen on the 21st. So, you know, just this stuff isn't going to end. It's just going to keep on coming. They're going to keep attacking the pre-tribulation rapture. So there you have it. News media is attacking Christians because of a false prophet. And you know, it just it never ceases to amaze me the ignorance of the people out there in the lost world how they can't differentiate between real Bible believers and false prophets. They just kind of lump everybody together and you know, they'll say if you if you preach on the street, they'll lump you together with the uh, Westboro Baptist Church, there's a bunch of lost heretics. And they are lost. Westboro Baptist Church, they're not Christians. Um, they're hyper-Calvinists, just like camping. Kind of interesting. But uh, one of the brethren here on YouTube, which he's kind of controversial himself, but he's definitely saved. I've met him in person, Brother James Lyman. He actually has a video where he confronted Westboro Baptist Church people, and they started using profanity. So they're... Christian testimony broke down very quickly. Their, their fake Christian testimony broke down very quickly when they were actually confronted by a real King James Bible believing street preacher. You know, the real uh, fruits of what they are really came through quickly. But you see, the news media loves that kind of stuff. I mean, why does this Harold Camping stuff in Westboro Baptist Church, why does it make national news. I mean, isn't there more important things to report on? You know, how are things going in Japan right now with, you know, the cleanup and everything? How, what about the stuff, you know, here in America with the tornadoes and the floods and everything else? I mean, why are you wasting time on camping and on Westboro Baptist Church? Well, because there's an agenda there behind the news media, and it is to bring persecution to the body of Christ. That's it. I mean, it's just, it's a shame, but we live in this world, and Satan right now is called the God of this world, 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. He's been given power and dominion, and the worst is yet to come. Uh, I can't be positive and tell you that things are just going to keep getting better. They're not. The Bible does not teach evolution, okay? Evolution says it gets better and better and better. The Bible says no. It gets better only after things get worse. You know, millennial kingdom comes only after uh, some really horrible times coming. And Harold Camping and his campingites, you know, they they're just going to keep messing things up, and they're going to they're going to rile this whole thing up again there in October 21st. You know, well, wasn't the rapture wasn't May 21st? Oh no, it's October 21st now. And so, you know, the news media is going to get the whole thing kicked up again. They're going to beat the drums to, you know, attack Christians that believe in a pre-tribulation rapture. And the false prophets are just going to keep coming out of the woodwork and pulling off this kind of stuff. That's just what's going on. So, you as a Christian, I mean, this is just one more thing that we're going to have to explain away now. One more heresy, one more heretical, lost man that's just going to make it more difficult for us as we witness. But that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, If we suffer, we shall also reign with him, the Bible says. You're going to have to suffer a little bit as a Christian. Your nice, peaceful little life that you've enjoyed here in America, it's going to get more and more difficult. 
The closer we get to the time of Jacob's trouble, the more persecution is going to come. All right? So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, make sure that you do not faint. Okay, run the race that's set before you. Keep the faith. Don't give up because of a bunch of false prophets and because of a bunch of persecution coming from the lost world. Okay, that's it. Thank you.